Hi guys, welcome to my channel. It's Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. I would like to thank each and every one of you for liking, commenting, subscribing, and donating to my channel. I really do appreciate all the love and all the support. And thank you for those of you who've been booking readings with me. It is truly appreciated, okay? So before we get started in this video, I have an announcement to make. So starting april 1st i'm launching my patreon channel so on patreon i will be posting three videos a week and these videos will not be posted on youtube so if you like to see exclusive videos from me stella beauty tarot you could definitely sign up for my patreon channel and it's 888 per month and just support your girl only if you feel called to obviously i wouldn't want you guys to go and then just do it just because i would love for you guys to benefit from the videos that i'll be posting on there and you know it's gonna i'm also gonna build a community where i could share certain things that i cannot do on youtube because you know the restrictions and the guidelines and so on and so forth especially with the nudity on the cards on patreon i'll be able to show you guys the cards no worries about nudity or anything like that so yeah so come support your girl let's build a community on patreon i would love to have you guys there and thank you so much for supporting me on my youtube channel and i hope to see you guys there so let's get right back to the video hi guys so as you guys could tell by the title of this video this video is going to be about how is your absence felt so pile number one, you're going to be the purple teddy. Pile number two, you're going to be the blue teddy. And pile number three, you're going to be the red teddy. So again, pile number one, purple teddy pile number two blue teddy and pile number three red teddy So pause this video if you must and meditate on the card or the teddy that you feel most drawn to. You'll be able to find your timestamps in the description box below and I'll see you guys at your pile. Hi Palwan! So you picked the purple teddy and this is going to be your reading, okay? So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous pile or previous readings, okay? So my pile number one, how is your absence felt? So it could be any type of person that might be feeling some type of way in your absence. It could be family, friends, co-workers, like ex-co-workers, ex-lovers and stuff like, ooh, <laughs> eight of cups. Ooh, it's people that you walked away from. People are heartbroken over your absence, my pal number one. You have somebody specifically in their feelings. It could have been like, um, like a love situation with the eight of cups or a friendship but i'm getting like heavy on love this person is in their feelings with the absence of you the loss of you they're having a hard time coping with the loss of you like i feel like it could have been like a long time ago or eight months ago eight weeks ago i heard three months ago since you last spoke to this person and they're still heartbroken over you so how's your absence felt How's your absence felt, my pile number one? Ooh, four of pentacles. Okay, some people feel stuck in your energy. You still have people lingering around or 
energetically they feel tied to you they can't let go there's somebody who can't let go with the four of pentacles they can't like your absence is driving them crazy your absence is a really like ooh, putting a damper in this person's spirit like they're having a hard time coping with the loss of you i keep getting that they're having a hard time coping it's like this person is like you know what i'm getting they're trying to like the people that they date now because this is giving me x energy the people that they date now they look like you they have like similar features or they could be the same background as you okay so let's say if you're caribbean this person would go for other caribbean men or caribbean girls it can be specifically from your country but something related to you so if you're african the same thing this person's like because i feel like you guys may not be from the same culture or if you are the same culture they're going for people that resemble you in some way shape or form so it could be like maybe similar eyes similar way of speaking accent or something like that how is your absence felt my pal number one Oof. didn't i say this person's having anxiety eight of swords can't sleep at night wow no forward movement with the eight of wands in reverse we have the three of wands your action is propelling somebody to go forward but there's a part of them that feels stuck okay somebody wants to make a move but not like they want to move on from you your absence is triggering some um childhood womb in someone with the eight of swords where they feel like they were abandoned or things are not moving forward or like your absence is reminding them of a void that they try to fill in your life that maybe you filled that void when you were around them and now that you're no longer here they have to move forward but they don't know how wow you know what song just came to me that bow wow song out of my system like there's a part where i'm probably not quoting it properly but he's like his boys are telling him to let her go but he's saying like i just don't know how that's what i'm getting here this person go listen to that song out of my sis out of my system by i think it's t-pain and bow wow okay so that's how this person feels like that's how your absence is making this person feel like they're wondering if you're club hopping who you're talking to do you still live at the same house Especially if this person knew where you lived if you still live there this person may drive by your old house when you guys used to be together or where like somewhere where they feel like there is a familiarity to you this person may even try to pop into your like where you go you frequent all the time like you know your shopping mall or like i don't know why i heard sephora maybe you are a makeup girly or a skincare girly and this person knows that maybe you work at sephora or something this person wants to pop up on you at work but they know that it will cause a scene so they're they're not doing it so how is your absence felt Ooh, we have the strength card it's ooh, we have the world card oh my god it's really causing like um a powerful surge of energy where it's actually creating some sort of transformation your absence is like triggering this person to actually learn to go at it alone maybe they were holding on to you or like they were using your energy to build themselves up and they can't do it anymore because like you pulled your energy away and now it's like causing them to stand on their own two feet how's your absence felt wow we have temperance your absence is definitely restoring some sort of karmic balance when you were around this person or these people because some of you could be a group of people but i feel like for a lot of you it's just one person there was an out of balance energy where you were giving more than you were receiving now that your absence is like you know present like in this person's life like they no longer have you the shift of energy is um has like balanced itself out with temperance card and now it's forcing this person to grow up or to learn their lesson because i feel like you were meant to be in this person's life for a lesson like you were meant to teach this person something about themselves like you were a mirror we have the king of cups your absence is triggering emotions in this person with the king of cups maybe this person was acting very cold or emotionally distant when they were with you and now they're all in their feelings how's your absence felt 
Kid has way too many cards. So yeah. How's your absence felt? Just one, please. Ooh, we have the fool. Okay, so the fool is like a brand new energy. It's also like, you know, stepping into the unknown. Your absence is forcing someone to step into the unknown, to allow themselves. Like, it's like you really are like, you were like the spiritual catalyst for this person to go on their like um their shadow work the dark night of the soul they had to go through that and your absence is triggering that and i feel like this person is kind of uncomfortable in that energy but they have to go through it because they don't have like you were kind of like um a crutch to this person because it's like they were using you to feed off your positive energy so because you were there they were not doing the spiritual work that they needed to do but because your absence is now in their life they have no choice how's your absence felt wow we have the magician this person's trying to manifest you they want you back whether it is a friend or a lover this person's trying to manifest you maybe this person is looking to wow we have the queen of cups yeah this person feels like you are their lover you're triggering love in this person that's how your absence is being felt like you're the one that got away or like now they're realizing that they had a good thing and it's too late like the, you were their divine counterpart or something that's how they feel but i don't feel like you feel the same way you may see this person as a karmic while this person sees you as a divine being so it like I, like i said it wasn't balanced when you guys were together but your absence is balancing things out and they know that this person knows that whatever they're getting right now the karma that they're getting right now is like a balance a shift of energy it was their karma it's like as if you were interrupting this person's karma when you were with them how's your absence being felt but now that your absence is here in this person's life they are experiencing their karma and they're trying to manifest you back because they know maybe they don't know that you were like kind of like stopping their karma but they know that when you were around their life was better even though yours were not but there was how's your absence being felt How's your absence felt? Didn't I say justice? Guys, I can't make it up. Your absence in this person's life is karma. Your absence, you not being around is their karma. You not being there to help them, to support them emotionally, spiritually, every sense of the way, how you were doing it when you were around is this person's karma. That's how your absence is being felt. This person knows that. They are realizing that even though it took them a long time, but they're realizing that now. And we have the magician again. I'm telling you, this person's trying to manifest you so hard. It's crazy how they're trying to manifest you. How's your absence being felt? How's your absence being felt? Oh, this person doesn't want to talk. Ooh, we have the ace of wands. Okay, so your absence is triggering lack of motivation lack of inspiration like there is an absence of inspiration that's how your absence is being felt like there is no zest there's no spark there's no passion anymore now that you're gone that's how your absence is felt like lack lack of luster you know when you have it's like um heavy weight being weighed down by life that's how your absence is being felt like the people around this person is noticing that they're not the same anymore like how they used to be when they, you were around. Like they, they're also noticing that this person is um, experiencing a string of bad luck, but it's not bad luck. It's actually their karma. This person knows that, but pe other people may not notice that it's because of what they did to you. Cause I feel like it's something that they did or said, there was some sort of action that they took against you that triggered their karma like it tripled their karma they already had karma before they met you but after what they did it's like their karma quadrupled how's your absence being felt yeah we have the death card ending so your absence is triggering a lot of um abrupt ending like the ten of swords even though the ten of swords not here but with the death card your absence is triggering a lot of endings and tr major transformation in this person's life or multiple people for some of you it's like multiple people but a lot of you like i said it's like one person that is going through this energy shift that they're not used to and they don't like it because i feel like most of the people that they've encountered in their lives were the same vibration as them like they were low vibing 
while you you're a high vibing individual and that's why this person's trying to manifest you back because they've noticed with other people they may have had like luck here and there but it was never consistent like you how is your absence being felt how is your absence Oof, nine of swords guys this person is stripping nine of swords eight of swords that's how your absence is being felt this person is having anxiety they can't sleep at night they are being tormented by the thoughts of you by the thought of like they lost you forever like this person knows that they can never get you back and they will never find another you because they know that your energy is unique what you brought to the table was unique that there is no duplicate there is like they could try to find like i said they try to like hook up with other people that look like you talk like you or same background but it's not you it's just like you know a copycat or they try to like mold the person into you which is doesn't make sense because there's only one you and this person's having a hard time coping with that nine of swords is here guys i can't make it up how's your absence felt that's too many cards how's your absence felt oh guys i can't make it up three of swords this person's heartbroken over the absence of you this person feels rejected by you i'm telling you you're triggering some old childhood womb where they felt rejected by either one of their parents so if you are a woman and this is a masculine they may have been rejected by their mo their mother vice versa if it's same sex it's whoever or whichever parent that you represent to them okay like whichever if you're in your masculine energy if it was the same sex then you represent the feminine like uh, their feminine wo the wounded feminine like their mother or their father like wounded them but i feel like it's like a feminine energy maternal energy okay so how's your absence felt how's your absence felt yes nine of cups. was like your absence is making this person realize that you were their wish fulfillment. Maybe like the package, how you looked. I feel like you look different from what they're used to. There's something about you that was like original, unique, that this person was like maybe did not appreciate when they had you and now they're like regretting it. It's like now it's like your unique your uniqueness that they're looking for in others. The same thing that they were rejecting when you were with them is the same thing that they're looking for in other people. The irony. How is your absence felt? Ooh, I just saw the Eight of Swords. They wanted to come out. Okay, there's three cards. That's perfect. We have the High Priestess. We have, ooh, Ace of Cups. High Priestess and Eight of Pentacles. Your absence is definitely triggering some love in this person. Like they're learning how to love. They learned how to love in your absence though. Your absence is like triggering that. People are like noticing that this person is like becoming um, like they like your absence is humbling this person. Basically, that's what I'm getting here. And it's also triggering this person to tap into their spirituality. Maybe this person now starts to, they could be watching tarot readings, trying to tap into your energy. This person is like, you know, starting to put in some sort of effort into their character. How's your absence uh, felt? How's your absence felt? Wow, we have the Queen of Swords. Ooh, this person knows that you're not the one. Like, they know that they can't come back. Yeah, you've, your absence is creating some sort of void and like a coldness that this person never experienced before. Like you were so warm and loving with the Queen of Cups, but now that your absence is like here in this person's life, they, they, they seeing a side of you that they've never experienced because when you were with them, you were so loving. But now that you're no longer there, they feel that Queen of Source energy where you really entered, not only physically did you cut this person off, that they're feeling your absence but energetically like maybe this person used to tug at you spiritually try to tap into your energy trying to like manifest you back and stuff because we have the magician here twice but i'm getting like now this person is feeling like the coldness like you may have done some sort of cord cutting recently or like you've been doing cord cutting now they're feeling the queen of source energy where it's like cold like th that's how they feel right now that's how your absence is being felt yeah like 
there is an energy of mystery to you like they don't they i feel like this person can no longer tap into your energy maybe you did or you only clans yeah we have the knight of pentacles this person's realizing that you're not you're never coming back yeah it's been a long time like this person may have thought that you were going to come back it could have been in the years like i said earlier in the reading that it could have been like eight years eight weeks or like it's been a, a while since you last spoke to this person and they're feeling it now like your absence is really making this person see how much they messed up and how much of a fool they were when they had you and it's like now that they you're no longer here this person is trying to work things out or become a better person a better man a better woman for you but it's kind of like too little too late i feel like you're in the queen of swords energy where you're like nah i don't care anymore like what's done is done who cares like i moved on and this person has not okay so that's all i have for you my pal number one i hope this reading resonated if it did don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i hope to see you in my next video pal number one Bye. Hi, Pal2. Welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. So, my pal number two, you picked the blue teddy, and this is going to be your reading, okay? So, if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous pal or previous readings, okay? So my pal number two, how has your absence felt? So it could be anybody who's um, feeling some type of way about your absence. So it could be a friend, family, ex-lover, ex-co-workers, okay? Oh, we have justice. The scale has tilt in your favor. Regarding an unjust situation that had that has happened to you in the past. A betrayal. Somebody exposed one of your secrets that may have embarrassed you and you moved away from a group of friends i'm gonna like group of friends betrayal mm. a field trip a girl trip somebody betrayed you betrayed your trust oh my god how's your absence being felt how's your absence being felt okay we have the hangman and we have the chariot people are stuck in a situation stuck in a karmic loop that's how your absence is being felt people are feeling stuck stuck in the stuck in the past maybe what happened to you was like a while back and i feel like these people are having to watch you move forward like I feel like they're only like these people, your absence is being felt in a way where people are unable to move forward with their life because the chariot is about moving forward, but the hangman is about being stuck or unable to make a decision or feeling like you're at a threshold. And I really feel like I really feel like um some people they could feel like your absence is the reason why they are stuck like because you were like the person that was like not like navigating the group the friend group or you were the more mature one or the more like the wise one that people used to go to when they had issues or you were like the mediator because we have justice here which is libra's energy libra is the mediator of the zodiac the diplomat of the zodiac okay so i'm getting like with that energy we also have pisces and cancer ever since you left this friend group because i keep getting like it's like a friend group or a community of people if it's not a friend group that community or friend group has been stagnant ever since there's a lack of forward movement or foresight that's how your absence is being felt like they're like dang like pile number two was very valuable to the community like they really had like amazing ideas they knew how to execute it like they took you for granted Maybe because you were very soft-spoken or very soft in nature 
and they thought that they could like run over you or betrayed you or treat you some type of way how's your absence being felt wow we have the nine of cups mm, your your absence is triggering some sort of jealousy and envy about your riches their your absence is like triggering some sort of lack like they're realizing how much they lacking in resources wow it's definitely people from your past six of cups like people that you grew up with childhood friends your absence is making these people feel like they have no foresight no like no guidance of the future you were always the person that they would go to to for support like emotional support especially emotional how is your absence felt yeah three of wands like a forward movement it's like without you in their life they feel like they're still stuck in the past while you moving forward you have like you know where you're going you know how to get there as well because you're turning your back on these people and you kept you kept it pushing and because you are definitely the leader in your friends group or you were the one that was more confident and more assertive like whenever you say you're going to do something you actually execute it you don't just talk about it while they do how's your absence felt wow we have the emperor lack of stability but the leadership as well you were the like i said you were the leader of the group um aries energy we have aries and libra maybe you have um two opposites in your chart so like sun moon that are opposite of each other so you may have like a libra sun aries moon or vice versa but your absence is really making people feel like they lost a real one that's what i'm getting like they lost a real one that's how your absence is being felt like maybe that friend group tried to replace you with other people maybe like they didn't think that your guidance was this important like Oh, they could replicate your guidance or like your guidance is something that people could just anybody could have that knowledge like your knowledge is not even that important or yeah like it's not it's, it means nothing anybody could have that knowledge basically that's how they felt when you were around but now that you're absent like you're absent in these people's lives they're they're feeling it lack of leadership yeah eight of swords and we have justice again wow and we have king of cups holy moly this these people are in eight of swords energy and like i said oh my god they're definitely experiencing some sort of karma eight of swords justice your absence is triggering fear fear of lack of foresight fear of like direction it's like you know i feel like whenever your friends or these community of people they were like in a jam or they felt stuck because with the hangman i feel like they're that's how they're feeling right now they could just go to you and you give them some sort of inspiration some sort of word of guidance wisdom that kept them pushing forward whenever they felt like giving up on their goals or on their dreams or they felt like they were in a rut like you were that voice of reason with justice here you were that voice of like a comfort because we also have cancer here and pisces so that voice of comfort emotional support that you were that person but now that you're gone this has been stripped it's they're filled with anxiety worry about the future not knowing what's going to happen because they never had the power of foresight like you did and when you were around they took you for granted but now that you're gone it's like oh my gosh i don't know what to do pile number two is not around i can't call them anymore like they don't have access to you like they used to you your absence is triggering people's like um emotions like it's not like i feel like they it's not that they didn't love you these people it's because they took you if you're granted like they thought that you were always going to be around like because like maybe you were accessible to these people and they felt like yeah pile number two is always going to be here whenever it's like you needed the support they were never there for you but when they needed support you were like you know one phone call away but when it was you they would never answer the phone for you and now they're feeling some type of way about it they wish they never played you like that yeah they feel foolish your absence is definitely triggering some sort of powerful transformation from within 
with the strength card you're definitely influencing these people to look at themselves as to why you're not around you're making these people your absence is making people question themselves because your life is going well so if your life is going well and theirs is not going well they're starting to realize your absence is definitely making these people realize that they were the problem because you're doing well and they're not Okay, life will always tell who was the problem. Life will always like just give it time and you will see like if you are the problem, your life is always going to be problematic, chaotic. You're always going to leave in that energy. But if you were the solution, you were the person that was like, you know, a gift from God that was supposed to bless people, your life is going to continue to be blessed whether these people are in your life or not. And they're realizing that now and that's how your absence is being felt like you were guys i can't make it up the wheel of fortune you're a blessing nine of swords at the bottom of the deck you were a blessing in these people's lives that's how your absence is being felt it's like a lack of blessings lack of fortune it has been removed it has been revoked because they did you dirty, they betrayed you, they, they did something to you that, you know, maybe you had to go through therapy. If your action is so bad that somebody has to go to therapy, there's like, you know, one thing about like, you know, hurting somebody's feelings and they, they move on from it. But if they have to go through therapy because of something that you did, oh my gosh, like, somebody has to go to therapy, like that therapy is like going to the hospital for like a broken bone, you know what I mean? That's what therapy is to your emotions and getting a broken bone something really bad had to happen to you like you had to get into an accident you injured yourself really badly for your bone to break so if somebody goes to therapy because of you you're not a good person you're not a good person i'm sorry to say you're not nobody should go to therapy because of you if you're a good person so I feel like maybe that's what happened to you. They did something to you where you really had to you get the help because it was too much and not they're experiencing this not right now. Maybe they thought that you know because you're so strong that you could handle it, but just because somebody's strong doesn't mean that they can, you know, they have to experience pain. How's your absence felt? Yeah, we have the Queen of Cups. We have the King and the Queen of Cups. Yeah some people are definitely like now realizing they're putting themselves in your shoes i feel like whatever happened to you like what they did to you is happening to them and now they're starting to understand wow that's what i did to pile number two some of them there's a lot of guilt like your absence is triggering guilt in them like they know they did something foul how's your absence felt yeah we have the ten of pentacles like no more stability lack of stability like they're watching you eat they're watching you prosper with the ten of pentacles while they're still stuck doing the same thing or stuck in a karmic loop like i said earlier how's your absence felt my pal number two wow they want to apologize to you i'm telling you they're in their feelings you may have like people coming back to you in mercury retrograde past people past friends or people in your community want to come back and apologize for you because of what they did your absence is definitely triggering apology and apology in someone or people how's your absence felt how's your absence felt wow nine of cups your absence is definitely triggering uh like emotional fulfillment like they're realizing that they had a lot of emotional fulfillment when you were around like you were like there to guide them to support them emotionally to re like you there was like a lot of respect from your end while they were disrespecting you like they had no regards i'm getting like people they didn't have regards for your emotions my pal number two they didn't care how you felt as long as they got their fix from you emotionally energetically it's like whenever they would talk about their problems they would dump all their problems on you and then they will leave you high and dry and then when it was your turn you know you know back and forth right they were not they were nowhere in sight 
because now energetically they took your energy now they feel good so why bother how's your absence felt wow we have the queen of wands yeah like queen of wands is all about confidence willpower you know knowing your worth your absence is removing that from them they don't know like you were hyping them up like i feel like you were the one in the friend group like you know you're the first one to like somebody's picture you're the first one to comment you're the first one to support like goals and dreams and aspiration giving tips what you've learned and then when it was you crickets they wouldn't like they won't even like your picture some of them were in secret competition with you how's your absence felt wow we have the two cups mm -mm. i'm not getting this is love i'm getting like this is partnership i'm not getting love vibes it's like there's the partnership is gone the the friendship is gone that's how your absence is felt like they know that their friendship is over like there is no way that you're going to rekindle with them like they know that how's your absence felt yeah they know that a cycle has completed like they they know that their part in your life is done how's your absence felt my pal number two yeah intuitively they know it's over that you want nothing to do with these people that you've turned your back on them and you're moving forward yeah we have the moon card yeah like now like your absence is definitely creating some sort of like illusion being shattered like the illusion in these people's lives are being shattered like they're starting to see that you know all of that good luck or all of that hype up energy that they thought it was coming from them was actually coming from you because if it was coming from them they will still be successful regardless if you're in their life but now that they're they're not even there you're not even there they're not successful so they're realizing it's like a powerful realization now that they know it was never them how's your absence felt yeah we have the nine of cups and we have the nine of wands Woo, six of cups people from your past i'm telling you they, their ego is bruised your absence is bruising egos making people see yeah people from your past friends i'm telling you three your cups it's friends that tower they're having a tower moment people from your past six of cups your absence is also triggering um joyful memories pleasant memories with the knight of cups romantic memories maybe for some of you it could be like you know friends that you may may have turned into a lover but it, you guys broke it off with this person because they were maybe they're the one who betrayed you betrayed your trust because they were a friend first but your absence is definitely triggering uh loving memories but it's like these people are trying to uh like recreate those memories in the present but it's not happening like they can't replicate what they had with you even if they have new friends new people like the energy is not the same okay so that's all i have for you my pal number two i hope this reading resonated if it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in my next video, pal number two. Bye. Hi, pal three. Welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. So my pal number three, you picked the red teddy. And this is going to be your reading, okay? So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous pal or previous readings, okay? So my pal number three, how's your absence felt? How is your absence felt, my pal number three? Ooh, I heard the one that got away. The one that got away. 
I heard like a temporary pause, like if there's a temporary pause, like your absence has left a temporary pause in this person's life. Like there's no forward movement. Everybody that they try to replace you with, they can't, um, they don't even measure up. So how is your absence felt? How is your absence felt? Wow, we have the six of pentacles, okay used to equally give to this person there was sorry about that guys so you used to equally give to this person when you were um in the connection with them or this is somebody that you had to cut off because this person was only taking from you it doesn't have to be like an ex-lover it could be somebody that you wanted to date it started off as like you know very nice you know and then now this person started playing games maybe they wanted you to chase them they wanted you to jump through hoops or like they, they were breadcrumbing you how's your absence felt wow this person feels like a fool okay they feel so foolish not in your absence it's like they're realizing the errors of their ways the games that they played and now they can never get somebody like you or they like they've lost their chance with you with like the four cups energy where it's like a missed opportunity with you that's always getting like the one that got away like this person's wondering like what if i would i didn't play games with pound number three what if i was honest with them about my feelings for them how's your absence wow the lovers the way your absence is felt is like this person feels like a fool for making the wrong choice. They chose wrong because the lovers is here in the two of cups. It's like a ex, it's not an ex lover. I'm not getting that vibe. I'm getting like this is somebody that you wanted to date. They wanted to date you, but they let their ego get in the way. This is somebody who's egotistical. I'm getting here that is like feeling the absence of you. They feel foolish for making the wrong choice. They chose someone else over you. And whoever they chose over you is someone that is like, I heard easier to manipulate, easier to deal with, easier to control. Because maybe you pose a challenge to this person and they were not ready for this type of challenge or they were not ready to grow up to be the person that they feel like you needed to have in your life. Like they know that you are worthy of the best love that there is out there. But this person was not, um, they were not, mm -mm, this person was definitely not vibing at the a frequency that you were expecting them to. This person, I'm definitely getting like low vibing energy. Maybe initially you didn't know that, but after a certain like, you know, a couple of dates here and there, you started, notice this, started noticing that this person has red flags or like some weird tendencies here. How's your absence felt? That's too many cards. How's your absence felt? Ooh, we have justice like yeah they made the wrong choice now they're paying for it now they have it's like made you made your bed now lay in it that's the that's how your absence is felt like this person is like feeling like okay well i made my bed already i might as well just lay in it because pile number three is not going to take me back pile number three like this person definitely views you in high regards they put you on a pedestal yeah, we have the two cups again, guys. Yes. And we have, ooh, nine of pentacles. This person definitely views you as like high maintenance. With the nine of pentacles, like you're living a life of luxury, you are unattainable out of this person's league. This is how your absence is being felt right now. Like they're realizing that they got a real one. They, like, you know, you were like a jam to this person with the nine of pentacles. You're definitely a treasure and they lost it. They fumbled the bag. That's how your absence is being felt. Like they're realizing that now that you're gone, there is no second chance. Like maybe this person, like I said, they thought that you were going to run after them, chase them. Maybe this person's very good looking or something like that. There's something about this person that they may be, they use to lure people in. And I feel like it's their looks, either their looks, their money, their stability, or maybe like their persona how they come off at the beginning maybe they they have this play this fantasy that they play on like whatever they feel like oh women like okay well i think like women likes this so i'm gonna act like this so that way i can get a woman or i can keep 
or like they study you so if they see that okay yeah pal number three is a type of woman or type of man that lives a life of luxury they live abundantly so i have to pretend like i live abundantly as well so that way they can love me that's the energy i'm getting from this person and then i feel like you caught on to that and you you kind of like got turned off by it and you broke it off with this person maybe initially they were like okay well i have other options anyway so i don't care and then you left you're like okay well good for you if you have options and then you went your separate ways but now that you're gone whoever they chose over you is not even half of what you they don't even have what you have like not in the sense of material possession but who you are as a person they don't have your drive they don't have your determination they don't have your zest for life maybe this person thought that oh, oh if i leave pile number three pile number three is going to be in sh their life is going to be in shambles you kept on pushing you kept on moving forward you have so many things going on for yourself so you don't care if this person's not in your life while them on the other end they're, they're like crying over you how's your absence felt Yes, we have the emperor. Yeah, they lost a boss, a leader. Whether you are a woman or a man, this person knows that you were a leader. Like you have strong will and determination to get things done. This is what I'm getting here. But your absence is like showing this person that they could have learned from you. They could have grown with you. They could have had something stable with you with the nine of pentacles and the emperor, but they chose wrong this person is keep like thinking about the fact that they chose the wrong one sorry about that guys a lot of interruption distractions wow guys look what fell on the floor the empress Ooh, this person feels like they could have had like a power couple with you yes like they missed out on an empress or an emperor that's how your absence is being felt like eight of wands like there's no forward movement in this person's life like there's a little bit of stagnancy or like before when you were around this person maybe things used to happen very fast for them they used to be able to manifest things with ease because they were like feeding off your energy or because like you were giving them your energy maybe maybe your resources or you were giving this person ideas or maybe you were this person's muse or something when you were around but now that you're no longer there this person doesn't have, have doesn't have that option anymore and you see like there's a lot of distraction in this video so i feel like maybe this person was a distraction to you how's your absence felt we have the queen of cups and then we have the king of cups yo the king of cups and the queen of cups came out for all three piles uh, but it was not the same energy it's different energy but like with the emperor and the empress the king of cups and the queen of cups this is definitely love somebody who like i said earlier the one that got away your absence is definitely triggering that like what could have been if i would have just follow along with pile number three what could have happened if i would have like talked about my emotions and been real about how i truly felt like there's a lot of like what could have what could have what could have or should have energy a lot of regret your absence is definitely triggering regrets in this person where i feel like you had a lot of love for this person and they did too but they never showed you the love that they had for you they kept on playing so many games very childish games like wanted you to chase them prove yourself to them and you're like i'm not doing that how's your absence felt how's your absence felt my pal number three that's too many cards just one card please thank you wow the emperor did the um hair font did come out but it was like too many cards with the hair font and it came out again your absence is definitely making this person think about marriage you're definitely the one that got away it's triggering that in this person the one that got away how's your absence felt my pal number three how's your absence felt Ooh, we have the eight of swords and we have the king of cups again maybe this is like a masculine energy because we have the king of cups twice and this eight of swords this person is definitely in anxiety 
like your absence is definitely triggering a lot of anxiety and i feel like collectively it's for all three piles because the eight of swords came out for all three piles so collectively your absence is definitely triggering like a void in people's lives like they're really it's like a powerful tower moment like your absence creates a tower moment in people's lives where they realize oh my god pal number three is really gone pal number three is not coming back they're dead serious about like not coming back they're dead serious about the decision is is final pal number three is serious like I can never talk to them again. I can never have access to them again. I can ne I will never see them again. It's over. Like that's how your absence is being felt right now. It's like a realization that oh my gosh, I lost pal number three forever, and it's over, and then I can't do anything about it. Oh my gosh, this person is really in their feelings. How's your absence felt, my pal number three? How's your absence felt? Wow, this person's trying to ma manifest you back. They're, they're still hopeful about the separation. How's your absence felt? Wow, they want to come in with an apology. With the page of cups. How's your absence felt? Ooh, we have the six of wands, but it's like yeah i heard reverse so it's like the lack of success a lack of um like progress no success that's how your absence is being felt like nothing is being successful nothing is moving forward it's just like disaster heartbreak deception heartache that's how your absence is being felt like you know the deception because i feel like this person even though the seven of swords is not here i feel like this person was being deceptive or emotionally manipulative with you trying to make you feel like you know you didn't mean anything to them like they really downplayed this connection with you because like i said this is not an ex this is somebody that you wanted to be in a relationship with it, it, it it's a situation ship basically that's what i'm getting here this person that is feeling your absence is a situationship individual where like you guys were doing everything that a couple does but there was no title okay this is what i'm getting here and now that you're gone there is no success in this person's life because they chose someone else like they had you in a third party situation or they had you like because of the two the two cups being here twice in the lovers they chose someone else so maybe you didn't know that there was a third party because i'm sensing for some of you there was a third party but you didn't know and this person maybe you kind of felt it but they denied it some of you maybe this person told you yeah they had someone else and they wanted you to like to stick around and you're like no i'm not doing that if you don't want to choose me that's fine but i'm not gonna stick around for you to like make up your mind you know like you're not like you don't have low self-esteem my pal number three and you did the right thing because this person is was lying about their feelings they were downplaying their feelings and they know deep down inside that they made a mistake because nothing is successful with whoever they chose over you it's not even working out how is your absence felt and it's like this person now they want to come back but they feel like oh my gosh five of cups they are in regret your absence is definitely triggering regret i'm telling you i knew what this person's in regret heartbroken over you they know the cycle is over didn't i say that guys i'm telling you this person knows your absence is definitely triggering regret they wish they never played in your face with the five of cups this person wish they never played in your face they wish they were like honest from the beginning because they now they now they know if they come back it's going to be extremely difficult to get your trust again it's going to be extremely difficult to even get a conversation out of you and it's going to be extremely difficult for them for you to lower your guards down to this person you're always going to think that they're lying that they have someone else and i feel like you're not here for it you don't want to do that you don't want to be with somebody that you have to question you want to be with somebody that you have peace peace of mind and this person does not come with peace Ooh, we have the devil in reverse how's your absence felt Ooh, you have a you you're making a player change their ways Ooh, ooh, ooh. What the, the, you're making a your access is triggering this player to leave his player ways behind and commit to you 
that's how your absence is being felt like okay like because you know the devil in reverse is like releasing yourself from toxicity releasing yourself from the bondage okay Tra entrapment so you're definitely being released from that maybe this person was like you know trying to trap you into a situation that you didn't want to be in that was not conducive to your growth and with the uh i was gonna say with the player energy <laughs> with the nine of wands which is player energy <laughs> this person is willing your absence is making them reconsider their player ways because this person's like yo i'm not getting any younger and i the likelihood of me finding someone else like pile number three is slim to none like they're definitely getting a wake-up call how's your absence being felt how's your absence being felt just one card please i'm like just one card and the spirit is like five <laughs> Just one card please how's your absence felt thank you we have the ace of pentacles oh then they're starting to realize that they had a real one ace of pentacles they had a solid one something that was worth hanging on to holding on to cherishing and cultivate now this person has to look at themselves in the mirror and realize that five of cups like not all that glitter is gold okay they're realizing that the hard way we have the queen of wands yeah you're coming up as the queen of wands my pal number three but this person's coming up as a knight of wands they wanted to be king of cups king of uh cup queen of cups king of cups energy emperor emperor empress energy but i feel like this person was not ready for that life they were still like you know playing around looking around it's like this person was keeping you on the side they're like yeah I know you're the ish pal number three i know you are worthy but right now i just want to explore a little bit more before i settle with you i settle like you know in a committed relationship with you this is what i'm getting here but you were like no oh first of all you don't settle with me you grow with me and this person was like i don't think that they were ready for that type of commitment because they know that it requires growth not settling so basically even if you were to be in this connection with this person they would want to stay the way that they are right now and not grow and you require more while the other person that they chose over you does not require much just their looks their money or whatever they're giving is good enough how's your absence felt eight of swords again guys this person can't sleep at night they're having anxiety How's your absence felt? Just one, please. Three cups. Yeah, they want to reconcile. Your absence is triggering a reconciliation, but they feel like it's not going to happen with the Eight of Swords. It's causing them a lot of trouble, emotional anguish, where they can't sleep at night because they feel like you're going to be... Like, you know what is triggering your absence? is like, are you seeing someone else? Are you now, like, doing what I did to you? to me like are you seeing someone else are you in my if i come back am i going to be in a third party with you that's how your absence is being felt right now like your absence is definitely triggering a lot of anxiety in this person a lot of emotional turmoil a lot of like fear like what they don't want to they don't want to face the truth that you could already be moved on like you may have already moved on to someone else okay so that's all i have for you my pal number three i hope this reading resonated if it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in my next video, pal number three. Bye.